just because I had a, just a bit of a jarring experience here. What are your pronouns? What's your problem? She said her black friend's mom won't allow her to go over her white friend's house. First off, it's not racism. You are exactly what's wrong with society, ma'am. Just started reading the Quran and I am so excited about it. And also, did you know that Allah is beyond gender? You're beyond help. Being misgendered can be an incredibly white painful experience. Gender, and it's it's right. I was really enjoying my um, demon-free holiday break, but clearly I should not have been gone that long because it seems as if the problem has expanded. It seems as if y'all don't really know how to clear these demons. So I'm back. I'll do it for you. It's fine. It's fine. But I do wish, you know, we could have a conversation about some kind of 401k for me because this is getting quite taxing. Hey, is it okay if I touch you? Yeah. Okay, cool. And what are your pronouns? They, them. She, they. I'm yes. glad we exchanged those. Yes. Okay. I'm glad that you came in today. So I'm okay if I touch you. Go right ahead. And what are your pronouns? He, him. She, her. Thank you for asking yeah. earlier. Okay, Thank so. You. This is too much talking for me for a hair appointment. What are your pronouns? What's your problem? Better question. What's your problem? Way too much talking for me. And how do you expect to cut the hair without touching it, babe? Are we using gravitational waves like they did the fucking pyramids? Like, I don't understand. I don't think there's ever been a better time to reach over, grab a little coin, coin, t little dollar bill, and put it in the Blair White Was Right jar. Preferably this one. Hi. Because... This is what I've been saying all along. There's not a better example that I've seen in a long time. That this obsession, this weirdo fixation that y'all have on pronouns out there in the world is clearly so much less about trans at this point that it's almost irrelevant. It's way more to do with y'all needing a goddamn personality and you're not even trans. This is a bunch of non-trans liberals participating in this weirdo ritual because that's what they want to do. Like, if I was in the chair and Miss Thing asked me my pronouns, I'm taking that as an insult. So that's how you know this is not geared towards the, like, acceptance or to make trans people feel safe because I would be a little bit shook. Girl, if you don't shut the fuck up and just cut that damn hair, truly, do the thing I paid you for, sis, because interrogating me about my gender is something I would find offensive. And I'm trans, so we're doing this for you, narcissist. You're doing this for you, narcissist. You're not helping anybody. I see through you. Is that scary? Just started reading the Quran and I am so excited about it. People thought when I first asked that I just wanted to read it out of curiosity, but I want to read it to study it. I started following somebody on social media that teaches the Quran and hosts a Quran book club for Muslims and non-Muslims. So I'm really excited to start going to that. She was describing the chapter of the bee and that just blew my mind. Like the way that she describes things and the way that the Quran describes things actually makes sense to me. And also, did you know that Allah is beyond gender? You're beyond help. See, I have never seen anyone with such complex fakeness. I mean, your fakeness, your fake bitch energy is so multi-tiered. It's so meta that it's actually shocking. There are multiple layers. So first, you are appropriating being trans. So now you are appropriating being a trans Muslim. And you are doing it from America. The same thing that. A week ago, you said, We are in stage seven of genocide in America for trans people. I hate her. And I just wonder if America is a place that is so dangerous for trans people that it is a genocide occurring. What do you think is going on in Muslim countries? I mean, these are just the things I beg you to think about. And what about when adult employee misgenders you so intentionally? Sorry, while she's talk, while he's talking, you're talking. You just misgendered me again. <gasps> Multiple times. <gasps> Both of you have. Sorry. Wasn't intentional, but if you yeah. want to take it personal, that's also. Well, okay. she did do it intentionally twice. I you, talking to me too. you said she, and then you said he. 
you're being condescending. And if you want to continue, Ooh. I have Port Authority escort you out the building right this moment if you want to play that game with me. Okay. Would you like to continue three days before Christmas? I really don't mind. I'm good. I'll just put this on. You know, I would hate trans people if I wasn't trans. <laughs> My God. How dare you, bitch? How dare you sit up here and abuse a customer service employee and pretend as if it is not so visible that you are literally just in the midst of a narcissistic tirade, that this has to do with you never having an ounce of power in your little Tweedledum life. And now he discovered this wonderful thing called trans. And now he is able to use language to verbally abuse people in public and not be seen as a monster doing it. You're a monster, babe. You're a beast. You're a beast. Your behavior is beastie and that voice is real beastie too, which is why people might call you he. And you know that. You know that. You hear yourself. You played this back before you posted it. You heard that. He just was gendered me. You heard it, right? And anyone with a bit of common sense can see that that misgendering that was on the camera was completely accidental. I'm sorry. This whole personal responsibility thing, I know y'all are allergic to that, but if you don't want people to call you he, there are some steps you could probably take, right? And that has nothing to do with other people, right? I know that's a very foreign concept, right? But I'm just offering some solutions to your problem here. You're clearly in distress. Shout out to the man who did not let it go down like that and stood up for himself. He really ate with that. He was hungry. He was just scrolling before work that morning, saw some other weirdo trans shit, and he knew just what to say if he were to encounter it in real life. And he did. And he ate. Down. <laughs> This is the frustrating thing for me. It's like these people who clearly just have a sick desire to abuse people and looked for a socially acceptable way to do it, trans pronoun usage, found their method. Like it would have been anything. Like it's trans, but it would have been anything that worked. You know, these losers who are at the bottom of the totem pole of society. And he figured out how to get one notch higher on the totem pole. He figured out how to push one person down a little bit lower through words, through language, by, you know, attacking public service agents. There's a reason why it's so often people in public, right? Because these employees are, you know, held hostage by policies, by these airlines and these companies in general that make it so they have to put up with your bullshit. But the only way to solve this is to keep looking crazy on camera. So thank you, sir, sir, sir. And thank you to the gentleman who stood up for himself. Because like I said, he ate had it with the word blessed i've had it yeah no, i mean can't i do have that. had it up to my eyeballs i'm out a guy just delivered ups and he handed me the box and he said have a blessed day and i just stood there with my jaw open thinking does he not know that i don't like the word blessed which of course he doesn't well, but well, it just how irritates know? the have a blessed day as opposed why can't have we just a have a good day. day right have a good who day who the fuck is out there blessing my day <laughs> a blessed day what the fuck does that mean right. bless your heart baby you know, I'm someone who believes in self-love. But if you have centered yourself so hard that you can even fix your crooked, frankly, need a little Botox face to mouth the words, doesn't he know I don't like the word blessed? No, he doesn't, Karen. He doesn't because he doesn't know you and he's trying to be nice and you're such a demon that like it just burns I cannot. He could have said, fuck you, girl. He could have noticed that little wrinkle crinkle on that face. And he didn't. Or at least he's a good enough person to not mention it. Far better than me. But my God, when you behave so ugly, it's like you start to notice all the little crinkle wrinkles. You start to notice. Y'all ever like someone and then they do something a little fucked up or rude and it's like you have a snaggle tooth i did not notice did not notice that breast kicking a little bit too and that tooth might actually be dead the closer that i look and yet i didn't even see it until i realized you were a cunt. 
That's the power of being a nice person. Or at least just not this goddamn insufferable. Calm down, Karen. Calm down. Just because I had a, just a bit of a jarring experience here. Um, I went I went into the bank. I was trying to change my name on my account, which apparently I can't do because my ex and I still have a joint account. So my ex needs to be present so I can change my name and it reflects on both accounts. Regardless of that, um, the girl who was doing it had a question and she she calls her coworker over like well he's trying to change his name on his account and i'm i'm like she she kind of like looks at me a little bit and is like oh i'm sorry and just like it writes it off but like i'm just like you read both names like she had both my ids and my legal name change paperwork in front of her so, um, you know what my name's going to. Number two, I look and sound like this. I know I'm six feet tall, but girl, come on. I'm wearing a dress. I am wearing a dress. I am wearing makeup. I'm wearing eyeliner. And I Bitch, I can't even look at you directly in the eyes through the screen. I am one that often says Delulu is in fact the Salulu. You got to be delusional about your dreams and your goals, baby. But that that's a different level. It, it truly is. You look like someone whose wife is missing. You look like Jeffree Star with a bath salts problem. And perhaps her misgendering you is just a result of her being so shook by your offensive presence that any word just came out. I mean, I would have just started word vomiting. Just get me out of this situation, especially considering I can smell the rotten breath from here. All that energy you allocated towards changing the color of your hair, we're going to allocate just a little bit of it to making your teeth a different color than yellow. Step one to not having to endure uncomfortable social interactions is not walking into it with your mouth looking like that. Because once you address your overall threatening aura and or aroma, you might have different outcomes and you might find that you're avoiding awkward social interactions. Because for me, if you walked up in my space, I might have used any kind of word. Moving on. She said her black friend's mom won't allow her to go over her white friend's house. First off, it's not racism. I probably wouldn't address it the same way as this black mom. But I definitely understand. And see, that's the problem. Y'all don't want to teach critical race theory because y'all don't want to understand. It was easy for you to just get on the internet and call it racism because you didn't even know what racism is. The reason why I have some type of apprehension about letting my child come over to your home because you probably have not taught your child right from wrong. Your moral compass is kind of thrown off. I don't know if it's a white man laying around the house. <laughs> I don't know if she got a big brother named Billy. And he might be wondering. You know, some of us in life manage to live out this entire experience on this planet with our head in the dirt. And never really make an attempt to pull it out. See what's on the surface, right? This woman is a very clear example. I mean, you are exactly what's wrong with society, man. First of all, if you do not have a immediate, you know, sad reaction. For me, I feel like you're kind of a demon. If you look at this little girl crying that she can't go to her black friend's house because her black friend's mother is racist. Yes, it is racist. Sorry. And you don't have like a sadness that fills you like, wow, look where society is. And you immediately go to excusing it. You're a racist. And I mean, what a sad existence. You're just pitiful. That's really some pitiful shit. You are really sad. And this is why y'all need to stop calling them progressives and call them what they are, which is regressives, right? If there is a movement for holding, you know, 
black only graduations, people of color only graduations, separating them from the white kids and calling that anything but segregation, POC only spaces. If you're on the side of my child can't go to a white person's home and it's sad to think that we'll have to undo all this other shit, right? Y'all just creating more racism from a different perspective. Happy Friday, but can I ask you a serious question? Here How comes Sarah. Is it 2023 and this, I'll show you in a minute, is what we are saying the majority of families look like. This. This is the Oh no. majority families. Oh no. Don't get me wrong, there are families like that. And really? those families have plenty of things dedicated to them movies and books and holidays and all the things why like if we're really getting serious about what people think teachers are doing in the classroom why is that why is that on a book who is we you f robot you fucking robot robot rebecca who is we beware of simpletons who use the pronoun we they are literally like, do you even have a soul? Like this whole speaking as a collective, speaking as a, as a group, it's like, my God, I refuse to be tainted with your stupidity simply by being caught up in your we that you so freely throw around. Now I'm really being misgendered because there is no we, ho. There is zero problem with showing other types of families in art, in, you know, media, life reflects art, art reflects life. Got it. However... Is there nothing to be said about the fact that perhaps we still live in a country where the majority demographic is going to look a certain way and simply by virtue of like it being the majority means that that would also reflect the art. See, maybe you want a disproportionate or incorrect reflection of what families look like. That's clearly what you're arguing for, but you know, it's a little bit stupid. I've never understood that. I hate the whole like endless seeking of representation in media and in, in art. It's like it was absolutely at a certain point a problem that there was like such little representation of other races, other cultures, other whatever. It's like that was actually a problem and it was actually addressed. But this is the problem with libs is there all breaks, no gas. It's like they're never actually going to find an end or a solution to a problem, they're just going to find a problem and pretend as if it persists forever. So at what point are you creating a false reality and creating a situation where it appears as if the majority of the country doesn't look like that when in fact that they do? They do. You're goofy, Gretchen. You're goofy and you need to get a grip.